Lori Handler's of Butterfly Workshops is a sex and happiness coach. That's right, folks. We're going to talk about sex right here on Biz One on One. We're going to learn about the business of sex education and how getting out of our own heads and into our bodies improves not just our sex lives, but our entire life, body, mind, and spirit. Wow. Welcome to Biz One on One. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure to be here. A sex and happiness coach, and you've got your sex and happiness book. Right. The Tantric Laws of Intimacy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I also have a radio show that's named Sex and Happiness. So I woke up one day and I went, I'm a sex and happiness coach. Why should I say that I'm something else? People didn't understand tantric or tantra. They didn't, when I said I was a tantra teacher, they were like, what's that? And it was too hard to explain that. But when I say I'm a sex and happiness coach, they go, oh, how great is that? So you're from New York, right? Originally, yeah. And you live in Phoenix right, now. Right, right. You know, Americans are a little bit uptight about sex. I think even more <laughs> so than Canadians, but definitely more so than Europeans. Way, way. And how does that impact? Like, this is a show about business and entrepreneurship, and you are an entrepreneur. I've you been an entrepreneur book. my whole life. Yeah, so, t so talk to me about that. To, about how business winds its way into sex or sex winds its way well, into business? it seems to me like both. sex winds its way everywhere. <laughs> we just yeah. don't want to talk about it. That's right. Okay, so first of all, it's the oldest business on the planet, let's just say. I'm not of that business. Mm -hmm. I'm not a prostitute or a surrogate. I don't have sex with people that are my clients. I teach classes about sex, and then they go home and they use the sex that I teach them with their partners or they try to find a partner and they try to get better at feeling comfortable in their body. So for the most part, people are divided. You know, there was a group called Talking Heads. Yeah. That was a very appropriate We're dating name. ourselves a little bit there. Well, yeah, yeah. but still, people are talking yeah. heads because we were taught that anything below here or at least below the waist was sinful. Right. And this is the only thing that we value. So if we only value our head, we're stuck in the left brain. We're stuck in strategy. We're stuck in analysis. We're stuck in understanding. And there's no way to just feel. So people need to learn how to feel. They need to learn what their senses are. They need to learn sensation. They need to learn to become sensual. And um, I'll never, my job will never end, let's just say. I'll never be out of clients. I'll never be out of students, especially in the United States. So, so tell us about your sex and happiness business. What's okay. it all about? Well, it's about empowering people to feel themselves fully, connecting the dots between body, mind, and spirit. I also say that I connect people between the boardroom and the bedroom. So if, if somebody's really successful in the boardroom, chances are they have sexual prowess. They kind of know who they are empowered they they feel you know, now i can't say if they're great lovers but it would seem that people who have prowess in the boardroom ha have a little something going on that maybe other people don't have do you find that company executives are nervous about the idea of spending the corporate dollar on a sex coach yeah, well, they don't. I'm. They don't that way. I I do corporate consulting, and when I do corporate consulting, I don't talk. To, I don't say to them, "I'm bringing a sex program in." I say, "I'm bringing a program that connects body, mind, and spirit, and gets people aligned." Now, some of that comes from my previous career, where I was in transformational technologies, and I was also government contracting and taking people off welfare rolls in the United States. So I know how to do transformation with people. But I add the body in because I don't want just talking heads. I don't want people analyzing everything. I want them to feel something. And what happens when I go into a company and consult is that people get aligned and they get to see whether they're at the right place, in the right job, at the right company. And a lot of times people just resign because they realize that they're not in alignment with the company. And they can feel that all the way through. So do sexual problems um, break up relationships and cause other problems in the relationship? Or is it often a symptom of 
problems in the relationship. I guess it's it's both. Yeah, it's both and. Like sex and money are related. Sex, money, and power mm. are related. They all come from the lower chakras, the lower parts of the body. The, in, in Sanskrit, there's the word chakras, and those are the energy main energy centers of the body. And anything below the belly is are the lower three, those that are... They say lower, and that's supposed to mean something. And uh, that's where money, sex, and power comes from, fire in the belly. And uh, the chakra number one, which is where we sit, that has to do with survival, family of origin, safety and security. We're living in a really unsafe time, so a lot of people are very tight. And that has to also do with spending You've heard all those, I'm not going to say all the words on your show, but you've heard all this referring to people who don't spend money. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that comes from there, and that's a pleasure center. And then the sex area is the, er is the energies of creation. So we all got here by two people coming together and creating, but we create everything with that energy. And um, Napoleon Hill in Think and Grow Rich, the, be the most widely read business book there ever was, in chapter 11 talks about those families that knew about sexual energy and about cultivating sexual energy. And before the book was published, they made him take their names out. Right. The Carnegies, the Fords, the Rockefellers, and so on, the DuPonts. They all knew about, those men knew about sexual energy. And if you don't know about sexual energy, you might be going to chapter 11. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's a little U.S. reference. There. That's right. You might be going back. <laughs> Lori Handlers. Wow. Um, sex and happiness, the tantric laws of intimacy. Thank you for joining us on Biz 101. I'm fascinated. You're so welcome. Thank you. Real pleasure.